Today we are gathered here on Earth Day to celebrate youth leadership and our um, overwhelming support for action on climate. I would first like to introduce Ian Curtis, who is a senior at South Eugene High School. Hi everyone, my name is Ian Curtis and I'm a senior at South Eugene High School. I'm 18 years old. Today, more than any other day, I'd like to express my gratitude for growing up in a place as beautiful as Oregon. Yesterday, I got the chance to visit Silver Falls State Park and was blown away by its immense beauty. The forethought of previous generations to preserve this place should be inspiring to today's lawmakers when determining the fate of our climate's future. I've been working to pass the Clean Energy Jobs Bill for years, and I believe that it is a crucial first step towards a carbon neutral future in which climate change is no longer a threat to my generation and those to come. I co-founded a youth lobbying organization called the Oregon Youth Legislative Initiative on Climate Justice. We held a lobby day in February bringing more than 90 students from around the state to over 30 meetings with legislators in our continued efforts to pass this bill. As we inch closer to passing HB 2020, I want to thank Governor Brown, Senator Dembro, and and Representative Power for their work on this bill. And I also want to encourage every single member of the legislature to vote for this bill. Passing the Clean Energy, <laughs> passing clean energy jobs as soon as possible will help us reduce carbon emissions uh, sooner rather than later, buying us precious time to continue developing renewable infrastructure, climate-friendly cities, and more efficient modes of transportation. Decades from now, I want to be able to take my children to Silver Falls and have them experience the, the same beauty that I just experienced, the same beauty that has graced this land for generations. Um, part of being an Oregonian to me means the intimate con connection between our people and our land, but that could change if our state continues to be torn apart by devastating climate change. Please pass the Clean Energy Jobs Bill as soon as possible and demonstrate the same forethought as the legislators who set aside the Silver Falls State Park nearly a century ago. Thank you all. Youth, Youth voices, voices matter. My name is Ruby and I'm 17 years old. As a junior in high school, I'm constantly asked what I want to study, what I want to do for the rest of my life. But every time I think about the future, I think about climate change. Climate change is one of the greatest crises of our time. The Clean Energy Jobs Bill is the biggest opportunity that Oregon has to protect Oregon's climate and the communities that are directly impacted by climate change, especially the marginalized communities that are on the front lines of this crisis. Youth in particular can feel ex exceptionally small within the movement, especially when you're not yet a voting age. But youth all over the world are rising up because we have no other choice. It is our future that we are fighting for. I've been lucky enough to be a student leader at outdoor school four times. Learning and teaching about the way climate change impacts our world's natural resources has made me realize that we must take action now. Climate change is getting worse every year. I am hopeful that once we pass the Clean Energy Jobs Bill, other states around the country will be inspired to take action. Thank you to the Governor Brown, Representative Power, and Senator Dembro for your leadership. As, As youth, we, we bring, bring energy, energy, voice, and numbers to fight for climate justice. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Yusuf Arafin, and I am a 13-year-old student that lives in Beaverton. It is an absolute pleasure to stand before you today on Earth Day when many people around the world are thinking about ways to protect our planet. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind whatsoever that climate change is the biggest issue of our time. And more people than ever are rising up to help and prevent this issue. It's especially important for young people like me to try to take action on this. We will have to deal with the worst of climate change if nothing is being done. My family and I were extremely fortunate to visit Chile this spring break. Southern Chile is known for having some of the largest expanses of glaciers in the entire world. But when we got there, we were absolutely shocked to find that there was barely anything left. Where there used to be completely rocky patches of land, were now huge lakes filled meters deep with glacier water. The tour guides that were telling us about it were also noticeably shaken up when talking about the subject. To make matters worse, when my family and I were taking a hike to visit one of these glaciers, a huge chunk fell off and smashed into pieces off of a rock. It really, really got to me that climate change is a huge issue. 
and that dozens of countries and thousands of animals are already suffering because of it. Oregon's climate is also in danger, and we need to help stop this. Oregon's way of life going back generations is now in danger. The best way that Oregon can fight this is to pass the Clean Energy Jobs Bill. We need this legislation to cut greenhouse gas emissions and invest in an economy for our future. Oregon needs good jobs, clean energy, and a very safe environment. Thank you so much to Governor Brown, Representative Power, and Senator Dembro for your leadership. I believe that Oregon can make a huge change and become a national leader into how to handle big problems. The Clean Energy Jobs Bill is a huge step forward for the state, but more importantly, a huge leap forward in climate change progress. Thank you so much for your time. Woo!